enter battle <laughs> before that hunter kills me. Sixteen hundred honor right now. It's a wolf. Hello. Did he just expo I think he did put exposed armor on me. Yeah, I mean, 8th of February may be a little long, but, like, I'm still having fun in Phase 1. I'm making multiple characters having a blast, so I'm not worried about it, really. Yeah, 4,500 is my goal right now, so I can hit rank 3 tomorrow, get the Sergeant's Cape. These, like, PvP reputations and PvP, like, honor ranks... Seem like they're really good to do because they're going to give you an upgrade every phase, you know. You're going to have like access to each level bracket of Scouts Medallion, Legionnaire's Band, you know, you know, Legionnaire's Sword, Scouts Dagger, whatever. You're going to have the Sergeant's Cloak at each level bracket. Uh, there's like... It's like a very worthwhile thing to invest on a character for one that you intend to play like most of the season. It's a gift that keeps on giving, yes. I was Grunt, killed only one Alliance NPC, then downgraded to Scout. Yeah, w because you're not supposed to kill civilians, that's called a dishonorable kill. It, it that's like the only thing that can cause you to downrank is killing civilians of the enemy faction. How's everyone? Does everyone have boon? Yeah, they all have boon. <laughs> he bubbles. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, killing this guy for sure. He's out of position. Okay. This time we have our pre-made group versus... Alliance Pug Group. Edge. Uh, this is Hollow Knight soundtrack playing right now. What are we doing? We got some people out front, we got some people going in tunnel.
trying to put poison on these guys so they slow down. Just attacking to try to trigger it. There we go. want to camp in front of graveyard or do we want to escort flag? We got kind of a half and half split right now. Offhand dagger is a cross dagger plus 10. All the gear is on the Discord. Okay. Moving up into flag room then. He's in the other room, I see. All right, we're out front. I'm trying to stay near other people on my team. You know, not trying to get caught out alone. You happy with February 8th release? I think that's fine. Could be a little sooner if you ask me, but I'm, I'm not upset. I don't think it's too long. You know, I'm having fun in phase one. There's still plenty of stuff for me to do. When did Season of Discovery start? I don't even remember. Yeah, see, like, I could have jumped on that guy, but we had no support right here, so... No reason for me to. This guy, I will... Sap. And keep moving. I'm gonna try to get up into the flag room where these guys are. Support them, bringing the flag south. Which way are they going? They're coming tunnel, I see. Poisoned. Wing clipped, stunned. Just leave him behind. Doesn't matter. Flag's moving ahead. I'll support this guy. This game's secured, so we try to see if we can grab some kills before it's over. As the blue flag heads south. There we go. Alright, we lost one of our warlocks. We had some people that weren't in voice chat that they said are just going to get kicked out of the group and replaced
Let's see. We got ourselves an 18 attack power chest piece, which is not as good as it could be. 20 or 22 would be better. Uh, but it's definitely better than this 7 agility chest we've been using. So I'm going to check the auction house again, see if I could find a 20 or a 22. Uh, armor, leather, chest, tower. What's up right now? 20 for 10 gold. 18 for 8 gold. 20 for 10 gold. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. Wii U, Wii U says you got Trident and Pearl on your Hunter. Hell yeah. Dude, that's nice. Uh, so they're trying to fill two more spots. Before we queue up again. What tunes you leveling next? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of happy with this, like, three rogue and two alt classes setup. I'm thinking I might make another druid. Uh, feral has been pretty fun so far and, you know, not that much different. I'm thinking I might want to grind Warsong rep, yep, for the, my two orc rogues, which will be like my biggest PvE pumper characters. Another druid for Boomkin? Bro, dude, no. Another druid for, well, I mean, we could respect them if we wanted to, but, you know, Feral's kind of, kind of fun. Dude, but if we level another Feral Druid, it'll be a Star Surge Enjoyer for the first 24 levels, at least. will go down when shamans get wind fury totem i mean wild strikes is just better than wind fury at level 40 you know wild strikes is a percentage attack power bonus on the extra strike whereas wind fury is a flat amount and the attack power bonus on wild strikes even in just pre-raid gear is already higher for wild strikes than the flat amount on wind fury Barrel leveling is comfy once you get cat. Yeah, but if your gear has plus 67 arcane spell damage and zero agility on it, I'm just going to continue star surging, you know? Tempted to level another feral, kind of fun. Yeah, me too. I, I'm deciding. I'm deciding if I'm okay with five guys or if I need to go up to six guys. You know. I am just Leather waist tiger. A good ooh. This is just straight up best in slot for a Feral Druid. But it's not that much better than the Deftkin Belt quest reward. That's a strong belt. Six strength, five agility. No shot I buy that. <laughs> uh-uh.
wonder why it's taken so long to fill up this uh, group. Maybe they're being, you know, pretty selective. Because, like, last time they had people in here that just, like, refused to join voice chat. And it's just like, yeah, we don't want more people that are refusing to join voice chat to even communicate, you know? Oh, shit, we're full. We're full. We're full. Hang on. I gotta close the window blinds. It's getting dark now. The, the fuck? My thing is stuck. Alright, we're good. We're good. It's fine. Oh, big pog damage. There we go. No skill OCE coming in with a prime. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. Welcome to the stream. We did a little BFD today on the Feral BFD GDKP. And now we're trying to do some pre made war songs. Hell yeah. Chain Heal probably gonna go Burr. You know, Chain Heal has gone Burr in basically every version of WoW that I've played that has Chain Heal. So, my expectation is that Chain Heal is gonna go burr in this version also. You know what I mean? Like, it's never not been insane. <laughs> what does Overload do? I keep, pe I keep seeing people say about Overload Chain Heal and Overload this and... I've no idea what Overload even is. Fifty percent chance to proc a second of that spell, but reduced damage. Wait, screenshot sent. Hang on, one second. Fifty percent chance to cast a second similar spell on the same target at no additional cost. It causes half the damage or healing and no threat. Fuck. That seems kind of insane. Yeah, dude, it said Ruby Sanctum, so then I didn't click it. Obviously, I didn't watch that video. Alright, we got pre-made versus bug here. Wait. Partial. Uh, okay, whatever. Stealthing. Oh, Milf charged in. It's kind of out of position here. I can't get to that guy. I need to shadow strike.
Okay. Chilling hunter pets. Warlock pets. That's my job. They're calling the group up here and then move into tunnel together. Oh, we're good. We're never we're good. Never mind. Nublet's got blue flag. He's out of tunnel. He's going mid. He had speed. It's basically all the way in mid now. EFC is west near the Restore Hut. Uh, sorry, Berserker Hut. Coming north. We're dead. Yeah, we took out EFC. That's good. Wait, is this just not picked? <laughs> Oh, it auto-returned. Not using Shadow Strike? I, I really like having Quick Draw in Warsong. So, like, there, there's two setups I've used predominantly for PvP. This is what I do in Warsong. Saber, between the eyes, and quick draw. Ah, uh, this range stun, or slow, is just, like, I always want to be pressing it. It's so good. Then the other one is... I'll go Slaughter from Shadows, use Backstab with a Dagger main hand, and have Shadow Strike there. I feel like typically Shadow Strike is going to get me out of position in organized PvP. Like Shadow Strike jumping to an enemy is usually just putting me in the enemy lines into a position to get killed. We want to have someone in position to repick, like immediately when it respawn. Now let's just get across the map here. Let's make sure this guy goes down. Wait, where is... I don't even know where the... Is it here? Is this guy with the red flag? No, this guy. Head is literally above average in size. They said <laughs> some guy said on voice, by the way, Simon is way smarter than me, so if he says to do something, just listen to him. <laughs> Alright, 
Pretty much instant repick by Voopsy. He's fine. He's totally fine. Going on over here. That dude's just slaying. Okay, that's fine. Alright, blue flag safely out of tunnel. Yep. Yeah, looks like this is in the bag. Got him. Gone that dude. I, I love that. When, like, the Paladin has no shot of winning, you watch them bubble and then they just, like, delay their death for 12 seconds. <laughs> okay. I got eyes on both right now, watching. Uh, he's at ramp. He's running up to, like, right above our tunnel. Towards graveyard. Yeah, he's still right above our tunnel entrance, just up on the cliff, being annoying. But he dropped right in front of tunnel near graveyard. He is dead. Easy dub. It's a wolf says, I rolled a priest on a new server inside, and now it seems like every group already has a healer. Don't, no, dude, like, Feral Druid's the new hotness, okay? You gotta be Feral Druid. That's the easiest class to get a group spot with. Druid 1 to 20 is rough, though? No, 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 no. You don't know it's a wolf. You don't know. What you need to do is you need to... You need to uh, get summoned to wetlands at level 1. And get Star Surge, and then Hearthstone back to your starting zone. Druid with Star Surge at level 1 is is a hilariously easy and overpowered leveling experience you get to like level 10 and you're still just killing mobs with a star surge plus sunfire two instant cast like 35 yard range abilities or whatever and it's just surge sunfire and you just, you literally hold W through a zone and just hit anything that's in range of you as you just keep moving, and then they just die and you gain experience. Don't even loot them. Who cares? And yeah, Star Surge costs about four mana at max level. Yeah, like, uh, Druid, Druid leveling, 
I mean, I haven't leveled every class, but I did level Druid. I've leveled a lot of Rogues. I leveled a Warrior. Uh, I would bet Druid leveling is easier than and faster than any other, well, maybe not faster than like an AoE farming mage, but it's, it's, well, just, just has to have that one little bit at the start where you get summoned to wetlands at level one to get star surge. All right, here we go. Yeah, true. All the 100 to 200 viewer Andes are Horde streamers. They're saying all the streamers are on Alliance. Bro, they all have Boon of Black Fathom. That's why they're going faster than me. Warrior, we kill Warrior. Can I outrange this? I guess not. Paladin on our backline. And Rogue in our backline. I think he was saying our healers are um. Let's see if we can re-stealth here. I'm trying to hold the healer hut so we can give uh, the the regrowth things to our um, healers. Eebs. Little warlock buddy here, gnome. Gun to the face. Take him down. No, no, he's not down yet. Did you get Bop? Oh, I got killed. Uh. Okay, it's fine. Oops, he's going up tunnel right now. We got no one right next to him. Pitter patter, how are your pre mates doing? Wait, hang on. You said something I didn't see. We got shitted on? Oh shit. Came up against another pre mate that uh that uh kinda kinda wrecked you, huh?
Frick. I got myself out of position here. Seeing if I can not die. Yeah, there we go. Got that full saber slash on that guy. Gun. Go back in. Refresh the saber slash. Back out. I'm out of position here. Taking damn, taking damn, taking damn. All our healers doing. Fine, fine. Ran into the best team playing right now, Gurubarashi Surf Club. And our second rogue missed the Q. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't really have, like, advanced strats. We're trying to farm pugs to get slightly better honor. That's, that's what's happening with my group. Seven minutes. No, our first group was that you just pitter. The first group that we played that um, that you you guys just stomped. It was a it was a little less organized. So we like kicked out the people who refused to join voice chat, um, and we went through two rounds of that now of kicking out people who refused to join voice chat and getting like a slightly better comp and that all that. So now we're here with a much more reasonable team. Three thousand honor already. Yeah, unless. <laughs> Unless you mortal strike yourself on your orc. <laughs> All right. That was a seven minute win in the last game. So the way you speed these up, when when it's like a sure thing that your team's gonna win and you're like super organized and whatever, you have one person go and pick the flag and run it south. And then by the time the person picking the flag and going south caps it, you wanna have someone else already in position to pick the flag the instant it respawns. So you have at least two flag carrier capable players. Uh, cause the person who caps down here, it's gonna take them a long time to get all the way back north. So it, it takes longer than just having a second person in position to repick. The, um, the reputation bonus weekend is, uh, next weekend. I'm trying to get, like, do as many Ashen Veils to get up to Revered as I can, or as close to it as I can, and then it's like, I think it's only about 67 or 68 wins if you're at, you know, 0 out of 21,000 Revered um, to go to Exalted. If you've got the bonus weekend for bonus rep. Uh, without it, it's 103, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, 205.
Rep, yeah. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Barrel in our back line. He's dead. Well, I don't know. Arthurius burned his bubble already. Can kill him. <laughs> Dead. He's far east. Most of us are not near James. We got most of our people in front of uh, enemy graveyard. Near the resto hut. He's, he's dead. He's, he's done. Simonize Rogue War Song Guide next video. No, I mean, here's the thing. I grinded, you know, 12,000 honor in a pug, or sorry, in a pre made that lost one game while in full raid gear and full raid spec. The thing that's overpowered in Warsong Gulch is following the directions of your raid leader and having an, a team that's organized. Nothing about what we're doing here, like, really has anything to do with what I'm doing as a rogue. Okay. The thing that's overpowered in allowing us to farm the enemies is listening to the raid leader and like all 10 of us are actually organized, you know, and listening to the raid leader. You don't have like three people doing their own thing. Can't believe we have to raid BFD for another month. Ah, uh, you don't have to. You could install Skyrim and play Skyrim until Phase 2 comes out. You know? It's just like, you have to have someone who understands, like, what the Warsong objectives are. You know, capping the fucking flag. And then, like... And then you have to have nine other people who will actually follow directions. Like, when you say, don't fight in mid... They don't go like, get hunters marked by a hunter, concussive shotted and serpent stinged, and then begin fighting in mid. You know, like. Repost disarm. Yeah, fuck, dude. 
destroyed by repost. He was gonna get destroyed anyways. What's the time on this one? Seven minutes? All right, that's pretty good. Warlock's metamorphosis form. Holy shit, that stuff's powerful. Eight minute win. Slow, honestly. Twenty-five, thirty-two. is a lot of rep. Fourteen. Do we get honor for this? Hundred sixty-four honor and a hundred rep. I think we should hold these until we have. Uh, revered. You have repost macroed into your saber slash. Yep, 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 yep. It just presses repost. You know, I, same button. It'll just do repost if it's available. And then if repost is not available, it'll do saber slash. Got a bit of a deserter debuff. I don't know how long we're waiting for him. Looks like eight minutes. That's a whole ass game. Uh, yeah, let me show you. attack repost saber slash that's just exactly how backstab macro and sinister strike macro looks also yeah Where can I find info about Rogue in your Discord? All the info about Rogue on the Discord is on the Discord. And when you join the Discord, it gives you a pop-up that you probably didn't read that tells you where to go to find all the information about Rogue. Um, so if you didn't read it, that's your own fault. There's also a section that's called Read Here First. But if you just skipped ahead to the chat channels to ask how Deadly Brew works, like most people do, again, your own fault. <laughs> how does Deadly Brew work? No one actually knows. That's the thing. We're at 9 out of 10 in the zone right now. Oh shit, fourth priest. 
So now there's gonna be a lot of uh, rolls like, on the priest loot. Very contested. Rogue in my SFK run tried to convince me using instant poison with deadly brood does more damage. Well, that guy's wrong. I mean, or, or maybe it's like bugged or something, but I don't think so. The source was, trust me, bro. He actually had no idea. I mean, a lot of people, what they do, which is fine, is they, like, do one setup of, like, talents or runes or, like, poisons or whatever. And they do, like, one boss. And then in the next raid, they do a different setup. And they simply conclude, based on whichever raid they did more damage in, that's the better setup. And it's, it's like, that. that's fine to do. You don't always have to be like super duper analytical, but that doesn't really capture a lot of uh, what's going on. Cause a lot of your damage output doesn't really have to do with the choices you make or the setup you run. And it, it's just like you crit more or like one group had wind fury and the other didn't or like one boss killed Gamerai in 28 seconds, and the other boss killed it in 46 seconds. Mm -hmm. Which would substantially dilute the value of your Thistle Tea. You know? There's just, like, so many other factors. So, a lot of people will just do, like, try one thing one time, try another thing another time, and just, like, conclude off sample size of one, which one is better, you know, without controlling for the right variables. I just killed the hunter attached to the cat. We got Curse of Recklessness. 20 AP, how long yeah. running left of the hut. The distract. Over that rogue is that did that distract. It was nice. <laughs> I was trying to get them to compliment my play. <laughs> yeah, enemy warlock just buffed me, yeah. We have very few people at Resto Hut, but it doesn't seem like the Alliance are coming out of their graveyard. Mark on me, had to vanish that off. Get MC'd before Calrus and let a warlock curse of wreck you. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it is unironically a good strat. You can get, um, 
<laughs> you can get uh, Curse of Wrecked. You know, if you can get yourself mind controlled or you can duel a warlock right before a boss, get Curse of Wreck on you. Alright, they got a flag pickup. Any interference? Looks like no debuffs, no nothing here. So, looks like no resistance. Oh, one guy came out of the graveyard. A warlock. Oh, and a hunter. Got him. Xbox is going third party. Pushing their IP to every platform. Huh. I'll have to read an article about that. Which rogue is your favorite? Mm, male orc rogue, I think. 